Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. After the success of the uh, Christmas surprise box from Oxford Diecast, I've uh, I've bought a um, the hundred pound one. I had a bonus from work, so I thought, why not? So this video, we're going to take a look, see what we've got. So let's get in. I haven't uh, looked in this one yet. I've just uh, taken the tape off, so no idea what's near. Lots of packaging by the looks of it. That's going to make a mess, isn't it? That's where I'll uh, take it all out, put it to one side, and then uh, we'll go through it. So let's get this out. What we got here? It is Oxford Military in double O scale. Stacker. Container stacker. It's a big lumpy thing to start with. So we've got a biplane. 72 scale again, double O. A de Havilland. So that's nice. It's like a Land Rover. It is a Land Rover. 124. That's a huge thing, isn't it? I think my son might end up with this. Big lumpy thing to play with. Nice. Right, let's get into some smaller stuff now. So. Queen's Diamond Jubilee vehicle, collector's vehicle, a Morris van, that's nice. A JCB Transit. Nissan, Nissan what? Cash Kai. Not seen one of these before, so I don't know if they're new to the range. Middle in the Austin van. Mm. Add it to the pile. What was that engage? An engage trolley bus. Let's see if we can. There we go. Yep, put that over there. Donkey Sanctuary. Oh, one of my neighbours works at a, at a Donkey Sanctuary. Didn't know they did things like that. So that's very nice. I'll have to tell her. <laughs> it's an old Volvo. Light blue. Yeah. 
or Land Rover or an RAF one. Oh yeah, look, it is an RAF one. That's nice. Ooh. I do collect uh, wall planes as well, so that'd go nicely with that. Um, a modern Bentley. And that's it, I think, for the smaller vehicles. I've got no idea. Oh, there we are. Austin 1300. Something a bit different. Right. We all know what's in the big Coca Cola box because we had one last time. So we'll look at these. It's another VW bus. This time it's 2001. There's a paint finish on this one's better, I think. Just a bit dirt. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I don't know why the other one in the other box had a crackly paint finish. That one's alright. Morris fan. 70s again, so that'll go nicely with my uh, 70s O gauge. Yep, yeah, that's nice. I like that. Collectors Club fan. Yep. Now um, what is in this thing? The greatest show on earth. Right, I'll have to put the camera down to open this to see what's in there. We're back in a tick. So in that uh, box, what's this? Circus vehicle, ticket office. It's looking very smart, isn't it? Yeah. So the last thing is another big coca-cola truck i was hoping for something else but uh i know you can get eddie stobart ones so i've got another one of these so yeah i'm not sure if i'm in as impressed as i was with the uh the christmas one So we'll have to total all this up and see what it comes to. See if it was worth the money. I mean, the double O vehicles I'll probably end up keeping along with the, uh, the O gauge ones and the plane. But the uh, Land Rover will probably end up with me, uh, with me boy. Um, not sure about the circus one, what to do with that. And this one will probably get moved on as well. So right, I'll stop recording and uh, I'll go through it all, see how much it's worth. So I've towed it all up and uh, without these two at the front here, it's uh, come to £178.50 worth of uh, stock on the Oxford diecast website now these two they are not listed on the website and I can't find any of those for sale anywhere 
so I don't know I don't know what maybe 15 and I don't know six seven pounds so the total value of everything was probably about 200 pound which is uh what they advertise but it's uh, a bit strange that I've got these and they're not on their uh, website not even as a sold out stock so I've done pretty well to get those I think overall um, I think the Christmas one the 50 pound one was a uh, better value for money uh, it definitely had more things in there that I'd like and I'd keep I've got another big coke truck there which I wasn't I was hoping for a an Eddie Stobart one. Um, I've got a crane there which isn't really much use to me or all the uh, container crane lift thing. Um, so yeah mixed feelings. So would I get another one? I probably wouldn't get another hundred pound one. I'd probably stick to the, uh, the cheaper ones. But uh, yeah, I think this is a good find. Probably only because I I know someone who works with the Donkey Sanctuary as a volunteer, and they're not available on the net. So yeah, I like that quite a bit. Um, in the O gauge car, Morris van there. That'll go on the layout on the O gauge layout. I'll have to sort through it, see what I want to keep and what I'll get rid of. So yeah, I hope you uh, found the video interesting. If you're looking at getting a mystery box, I hope this has given you an idea of what you could get. Obviously they're, they're all mixed, it's all random. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and um, we'll get back to more Model Railway content. Thank you, bye.